The Spanish verb ser and estar both mean to be. But they mean to be in very different ways. So the verb ser means to be in Spanish, but it means to be in a way in which it would be like what you would use to fill out a Facebook profile, right? You would talk about yourself or the others, your descriptions, uh, profession, origin, where you're from. You can also use ser to talk about what something's made of, and you use it to tell time in Spanish. The present tense forms of ser are yo soy, tu eres, el, ella, usted, uh, it, es, nosotros somos, and ellos and ellas, plural, uh, y'all, ustedes, is son. A star is more like a Facebook status update. In other words, you would use it to talk about uh, your location or the location of others, your feelings, your emotions. And you would also use it to you in the present progressive, like you are doing something. I am running. I am eating, right? So a star is more like a Facebook status update. The different forms of a star are estoy. Estás, está, estamos, and están. Please notice the accent in these three forms. Okay, some examples. El niño es desobediente. Es desobediente is describing a characteristic. El está enojado. He's mad. So está is used because it's talking about a feeling. El equipo es muy bueno. Está in España. Es muy bueno, again, a characteristic of the team. Está en España, that's used because of location. The team is in Spain. Ella es cantante. Ella está cantando. Es, because it's describing her profession, cantante. Está, because that's the present progressive, she is singing. If you have any questions about this material, you can contact me uh, at SR Denim on Twitter or you can comment below.